Hi, welcome to the Everyday Mom Challenge. This is day seven. What a lovely day. Episode seven is accept this gift. I want us to turn to our Bible verse of the day. Ephesians chapter two, verse eight. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God. Amen. Our salvation is a gift freely given by God. The Holy Spirit searches us, seeks us out, reels us in brings us in. When we make that humbled, repentant heart commitment to God and accept Jesus as our personal Savior, that's a gift that is beyond any material gift that you will ever receive. You know, it's great to get gifts. <laughs> I will be the first one to raise my hand. Raise your hand where you're sitting or wherever you are. <laughs> raise your hand and if you like gifts. You know, they all make us feel special. When someone gives us a gift, you know, you say, wow, that person thought about me when they saw that. It, it shows that you have care for someone. It shows that you're, you know, just wanting to share appreciation. And birthday gifts, gifts for no reason, Christmas gifts, we should all do those with a spirit of giving and thoughtfulness. I want to share with you a couple of gifts that I have received in my life that are special to me. My first is a gift that I received just yesterday. My aunt got me this gift. I love my aunt. You can probably hear my dog. Uh, yeah. Everyday mom has a bulldog. I know you would like to see. He's down here. Say hey, Rambo. He saying scratch me, mama, <laughs> while I'm doing this. He's a part of my family. He's a gift, too. Um, okay, let me show you what my aunt got. Can you see this? It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, music box. The title is The Favorite Things. I know y'all love that Christmas song. When I think of you, I remember not only the good things you do, but also the heart, love, and life you inspire in those of us who are blessed to know you. Have you ever just received a gift and you wanted to cry? That's how I was yesterday. It just touched my heart. Another gift that I received. This sits behind me. I don't know if you've ever seen it in the videos, but I wanted to show it to you up close. And it says, everything is possible for those who believe. Gorgeous. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. My mom got me that gift. You know, when you go off to college or you go move away, not only do you carry the spirit of your family with you, but you also carry God. This is a really good gift. My school librarian. She was giving gifts of books. And now I'm getting ready to re-gift this book to someone. Uh, she doesn't know, but she'll see it soon in the mail. And it was from a Facebook conversation where she was like, oh, I went to the library to try to find this book. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm reading that. I got that book. So what I challenge you today to do is to think of a spiritual type gift, a Christian type gift. 
something that you can give to someone else that can help inspire them. Whether you write down a quote and you do your own framing, take photographs, uh, do a special homemade craft. Today, we had craft day at our church the th uh, third Saturday for the women, and I made this. Oop, uh, you see it. And I had already told her, my best friend, that I'm going to make you something today. And it says, I am a new creation in Christ, 2 Corinthians 5.17. And we had a wonderful story. It was about butterfly. Oh, something special to me, like I had already said. So I'm going to give that gift to her. Gifts don't have to be expensive. Gifts can come from your heart. They can be a simple card. And you've seen these cards. I found this box of cards at a thrift shop. I got the whole giant box for $2. And it has the butterflies on the box. It's gorgeous. But now abide faith, hope, love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. So, seek someone that you would like to do a re-gift something that you've had that's inspired you that you would like to share with someone read gifts like passing on a book um, if you have multiple Bibles in your house pass on a Bible to someone who may not have a Bible also put something in that like a, a little message that says thank you uh, just because. Because it wasn't a special day that I got my gift of salvation. It wasn't Christmas Day. It wasn't New Year's. Watching the ball drop. There was nothing different about that day. It was just an ordinary day. And God sought me out. And He gave me the most precious gift of life and eternity that no matter what I do or say for the rest of my life will never measure up to that gift of sacrifice and love. I can give God the gift of my service I can give God time to study His Word. I can give God those type of things, a part of myself. So I challenge you today to give back to God and then give to someone else. Here is a poem that I wrote this summer after my birthday. It's called Reflections from a Birthday. As another year tolls upon my clock, I am halfway to the mark. I falter not at this illusion. How time is fleeting, one day it will grow dim dark. For all the while I have roamed, I had failed to meet the place I see in my mind's eye. I once dreamed it to be. But I forge on forward knowing I am not all that I have yet to be in this earthly dawn. God is just beginning His working in me. So much more, I believe, is meant for the life of me. As I push the swing that bears the soul of childhood memories upon the very chains that be. Release the past, for it has served its purpose well. No longer prisoner of those walls that have a way of caving in. I have a life to live, even if I fall. I will do so on my own with God's watch. So, I will share. Oh, here's an ad. It does it to me. I can't find anything without an ad. Ah. 
thumbs up in the middle. <laughs> Sorry. I will do so on my God's watch. So I will show no ounce of frailty. Love grows within my veins for bucket list and each new day. That promises me true love and play. I shall not be without a day of prayer until I meet the angels of heaven. And calling me forth will be hard pressed to stop for endless rest. For I vow this life to God to the extreme no holds barred until my very last breath. You're not getting any younger, so you need to get to it. Anyway. Today, our songs are special. You Raise Me Up by Josh Groban. Go look at that lyrics video so you can take in the sounds and the words of that song. And Breathe by Michael W. Smith. I already have them on Song of the Day on the YouTube channel. So I would love for you to like or comment, subscribe or share if you feel like this challenge would be helpful to someone else. I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.